Hi, Gemini, and welcome to the second part of your read for today, which is going to be the advice that your guides and your angels have for you on how to deal with the current situation. Um, so if you're just landing on this video now, um, maybe go ahead and check out the first part of your reading, which is going to be the video uploaded under your name, um, or your name, um, your sign that doesn't have the word advice um, in the title because that's the general energy for you at this time. And this um, advice video is basically going to be a continuation off of that first reading. So let's see, Gemini, what advice do your guys and angels have for you at this time? Oh, I forgot to mention in the first video, um, you know, just take the messages that resonate for you and your situation, you know. If it doesn't resonate, then maybe check out your um, moon sign or your rising sign. There might be something more fitting for you there. So let's see, Gemini. What is the what is the advice here? What, what angels, what advice do you have for a Gemini on how to deal with this situation they're going through? Holy Spirit. Seven of Cups at the bottom. You've got Ten of Wands, Reverse, Strength, and Reverse, and then you've got the Eight of Cups. Um, drop the burden, walk away, basically, right? Drop the burden and walk away and save your strength. I feel like, I feel like your, your guides and your angels are telling you to just don't, don't engage, like don't put up a fight. Don't put up a fight because you'll lose. It's not worth it. Like, keep that strength for yourself. Don't waste it um, on, like, neat, like, like these discussions of where you're trying to prove your point and you're trying to prove to these people that what you're doing is a good idea. Because the, the fact that they're, um, the fact that they're basically telling you that everything is a bad idea and everything is not good for you or, or that you know, it's not going to lead anywhere. It's not coming from a place of like real true attention. You're not going to be able to um, change their mind. You might, Gemini, feel like you need to, you know, stick up for yourself and tell them why you're going to do it and why you think it's a good idea, why you think it's good for you in the hopes to change their mind and make them also see. I, I feel like you want to convince them of your point of view. And your guys and your angel are telling you just don't just don't bother, honestly, because the reason why they're giving you that kind of a standoffish um, answer to everything that you want is because they the problem is within themselves. OK, you're not going to be able to convince them because they are standing on a point of um, we don't want you to do this because it would threaten us. You get what I'm saying? Like. They're doing it for selfish reasons. The reason why they're telling you don't do this, it's a bad idea for you, is out of their own selfishness that they don't want that for you. So you're never going to convince them that it's a good idea because they don't want you to do something. They don't want you to go because it would um, get in the way. It would just, there's some sort of, you know, you'll know how it resonates best for you. You know these people better than I do. I don't know who you're dealing with, but... There's reasons why these people don't want you to go somewhere. It's like, for example, okay, uh, let's say you're going off to college, okay, and you know you have a you have parental figures or you have a best friend that you know you're telling her, oh, I got into Ivy League school, and and she's telling you like, oh, you shouldn't go, and then then that you're not going to convince her it's a great idea or your parents or whoever because they don't want you to go because they you know, you maybe went shopping with your parents or you went shopping for them once a week and you helped them out with their errands. And, you know, it was just nicer when you were around because you did a lot for them. So in their mind, all, they're not thinking about the fact that it's the best for you. They're thinking, well, who's going to run our errands for us once a week? Who's going to go shopping for us now? Like, it's like something like that. It's like so small, but all they think about is like how it would inconvenience their own life that's where i'm trying to get at 
you being successful, you going down your own way, you maybe moving on to bigger pastures, it is like in some way an inconvenience to someone else's life around you. Even if it's just somebody that's like a somebody in your you're in a relationship with, like a um, a wife or a husband or a boyfriend or a girlfriend, it's also you know maybe it's about your just your career. You have a new job opportunity, something that um, you know is like where you're going to be making more money than that other person. There's something about the fact that it just it's inconveniencing to somebody else around them because they're thinking about themselves and the fact that. They don't want you to be more successful than them. They don't want you to, you know, that whole thing that I was talking about in your first reading about um, that, that they don't want to live in your shadow, right? Yeah, so I feel like your guides is like, don't even bother. Honestly, don't even bother trying to put up a fight here. Don't bother putting up a fight, okay? Just walk away. Because you're not going to win the argument. That's basically it. I really feel like they'll always have something negative to say. They'll always find some sort of an argument why you shouldn't do this, why you shouldn't do that. Because at the end of the day, they're not the kind of people that really stand in your corner. Whoever this is you're attached to, this person doesn't stand in your corner 100%, okay? Whoever it is, they don't. So, yeah, what's this ten of wands reverse? Ten of swords and the queen of coins and the devil in reverse. This is the queen of coins, so. Gemini, you might be attached to an earth sign. You might actually be attached to um, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, because the King of Coins did come out in the other reading as well for you. So, yeah, there's like this, there's like this energy of this person that you're dealing with feeling I mean, this could also just be you again. I don't know, Gemini, maybe you have earth placements in your chart, but it could just be you wanting to build a stable life for yourself as a, you know, somebody that's grounded, somebody that is very practical, um, knows how to make money, knows how to be successful, um, knows how to turn a coin into um, more, you know? And somebody feels like that part of you like, we got to be honest, okay? Some people can't deal with confident people. Some people cannot deal, especially if you're in a relationship with somebody um, and that person is a little bit more insecure or a little bit more, you know, shallow, materialistic, and you're somebody that's very confident, very rooted, very determined. Um, you don't, be, like, the, there's no limit, okay? You don't put a limit on yourself. Like, the sky's the limit, basically. Some people cannot deal with that because you automatically threaten them because they think it's a competition. You, you don't want to have a partner where you feel like you're in a competition, okay, where they see you wanting to be successful and they automatically measure that with where they are in their life and if they are successful and if you're going to like, it's like a race, okay? It, unfortunately, that's the way it is sometimes. Your own partner or your own family members or people around you will see it as some sort of a race, okay, to a finish line. And you're here focusing on your bag. You're just trying to make something stable with your life. You're just trying to, you know, you've, you're only focused on your goals and where you want to be. You're not really, you don't care if the person next to you is farther along or if they have more than you or if you are behind. It's like you're not even looking at them because... You can't compare oranges and apples, basically, but there, but people do that. And you might actually be involved in a relationship with somebody that is constantly trying to hinder you because they feel like they're, they're in a race with you, they're in a competition with you, and they feel you getting farther ahead than them. 
kind of like you're like let's just take an example you're a queen of coins okay you're a feminine energy getting some sort of a big job opportunity you work at a bank okay you just got a promotion to i don't know one of the top board members okay you're dating a guy at the bank he didn't get that promotion now you're supposed to be what his supervisor he hates the idea and not because he thinks that you're a shit supervisor or because you don't work hard on it. It's only because of that emasculation, basically, of um, you being higher than him. Do you hear that candle? Somebody here in the collective is going through this, dealing with a partner, partner like this that just can't stand the fact of, because they see it as a race. It's like, oh, you think that, what, you're going to be supervisor or you're going to be board member for me? I've been at this job longer. You know what I mean? And it's like, wow, you can't just be happy for me? Like, what's the deal? Somebody doesn't like this. Here, Ten of Swords. It's like somebody feels like almost like betrayed by your success. They take it personally that you are um, ahead of them in the race. And I feel like you're looking at this person, Gemini, like, what fucking race? I didn't know I was in a race with you. This person is taking it personally that you might actually have some success in, success in your life. They don't like it. How, isn't that weird? Yeah, so what's strength in the race? Look at this. Seven of Swords, uh-huh. Eight of Cups Reverse. This is the energy you're dealing with. Queen of Cups Reverse. You might be a masculine dealing with a feminine. Or you might be dealing with a... You, you might be a feminine dealing with a masculine that is very feminine in their... They have a strong feminine energy in that they, you know... They want more of the, like... Um, they have more of that receptive energy. Like, they expect you to give more to them. You might be a feminine that's also in, in your masculine energy of, you know, wanting to go out and do. Wanting to go out and explore the world. You're very, like, brazen. You're very bold, fearless. This masculine might be somebody, if you're dealing with a masculine, that's it sit, wants to sit at home and expects you to give more and take care of them and... It's what kind of what I'm getting. Just take it however it resonates. But there is a feminine energy here that um, Queen of Cups in reverse. This is somebody that can't handle the fact that you would leave them. Emotionally manipulative. They don't want you to go off and... Um, yes, like if you're just skipping on this video now, please go and watch the first reading because this is definitely tying into that. Definitely. Um, this person, they're just, they're just, they would say anything that they need to say to get their way, but they're going to make it sound like there's, it's somebody here is very emotionally manipulative. Okay. They know what to say, but at the, at the, at the point of it all is the fact that they, don't want to be left behind, okay? They can't handle that feeling of you going off in the world and, and, and without them. It's like, this person is very needy. I'm getting somebody that is needy and selfish and they're the way that they're talking to you is very manipulative. It's in a way that it's like, let me see if I can find another example. It's like, Like, this is giving me that energy of, like, when you want to go to the club, for example, or you want to go out with your friends. Let's just put it that way. You want to go out with your friends. This is the kind of person that's like, you can go out with your friends. I'm not going to tell you you can't go. Go ahead. I, I'm not going to tell you you can't go. But, you know, um, you know, you always, you're just going to, like, always leave me here. And, um, you know, I just, 
think that, you know, this is, nah, 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 but go ahead, go ahead. See, you know what I mean? This is not the kind of person that's going to come to you outright and say, you know what? I don't want you to go. I don't think you should go because um, I don't want you to go. I want you to stay here with me. This is the kind of person that's going to say, oh, no, no, it's fine. Just go. You know, I don't care. I don't care. It's not about me. It's just about the fact that I'm thinking about you and you've been going out every single weekend, even though you said that you, you, you wanted to stay in. So is this really what you want to do? Or did your friends tell you that you want to go? Because I thought it's like that confusing vibe. God, I hope you know what I'm trying to get at. This person will not just come out and straight up say to you, um, I don't want you to go. I'm upset that you're going. I want you to stay with me. They won't just outright say that it's about them. You know what I mean? That it's their own selfishness that wants you to stay. They're going to twist it in a way that they'll try and say that it's not about them. They'll try to make you like feel bad in a way and try to also convince you that what, what they don't want you to do is what's best for you. So that, that it's like they'll try and make you think that you not doing something is your own idea when it's actually their idea. Do you get what I'm saying? That's what, that's this. Yeah, very complicated. Okay. Whew. So what's the eight of cups? Exactly, five of wands. Walk away. Yes. This is um, this is definitely the advice from your angels and your guides. Your angels and your guides are saying walk away from the conflict. Okay. This this person this is this is not healthy. I don't feel like this is healthy. This person is just trying to create conflict and I feel like also in your mind, okay, like they're trying to conflict the way that you see things so that they can get what they want. All they're thinking about is how they can get what they want, but also how can they say it in a way to you so that you don't fight with them. Do you get what I'm saying? Like it's... Like, I feel like you're de you're dealing with people or a person here that expects you to always be a people pleaser and to live your life by appeasing them and what fits them the best. And I really feel like your guides and your angels are telling you to walk away and take back control over your life and what you want to do. Because this is your life. This is your life and you can of course love the people that are around you, but at the end of the day, you can't let them stunt your growth either because this is your life. And I feel like you're really dealing with people here that, that expect you to, yeah, you can't allow other people to hold you small because of them. I feel like you might be a person though that's very used to this. You might be very used to kind of keeping yourself small to avoid conflict. You might be somebody that avoids conflict. You try to. So you end up giving in to these energies just so there's no conflict. But I, I feel like what your guys are telling you is like, no. This time, if it's about your life and it's about your growth and it's about your success and you've been given an opportunity by the divine, you need to fight for this. You need to stand up and fight for this. You can't let these people or this person constantly manipulate out of opportunities. If you do that, you will miss the opportunities that, that the divine is trying to send you. Okay? You need to fight for something in your life that's worth fighting for. Wow, I'm getting, I'm, yeah, I'm getting nudges here on my arm. So there is something in your life right now that, that is worth fighting for, some sort of an opportunity. And your angels and your guys, they want you to stand strong and firm in your right to follow this opportunity. 
because you're not responsible for the for these people's or this person's happiness or their life they're responsible for their own life you know and i feel like you're somebody that supports them you support them all the time probably right and what they want to do and how they want to live their life you deserve that same support back you deserve that same understanding back and um Yeah. I feel like though you're strong enough to walk away as well. I don't feel like there's an energy within you that's like, well, I don't I don't know if I can walk away. I don't know if I'm ready for this. I feel like you are. I feel like you are. And I feel like you already feel it within within you. That feeling of like, I just, just like, I just want to leave. I just want to do this. I just, you're starting to become a little bit more like pushy. You're starting to push back. That might be causing these people or this person to want to manipulate you even more. Because, you know, if they feel like they're, you're not in their grasp anymore they're just gonna keep trying right um but you definitely have advice here to walk away and take a chance on yourself and believe in yourself stand strong in your own identity and in the right to make your own choices in your life you have the right to make your own choices in your life Okay, that's what I feel here. You have the right to make your own choices in your life. You also have the right to fight for what you want, for what you believe in, for what you want to do in your life. You have the right to fight for this. And you, and you don't have to let yourself um, be told by anybody in your life that, you, that it's selfish of you to want to make your own decisions or... or defend yourself or def defend your decisions to, to leave it's not selfish of you to do that it's the right thing for you to do okay them trying to hold you back hold you small keep you in that mindset that's selfish so what's the ten of wands reverse Hand of cards, reverse, sunglasses in reverse, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting. Yeah, once you drop this burden and just say, what, I just, I'm not going to deal with this anymore. They can't, they can't gaslight you anymore. They can't gaslight you anymore. I feel they just, they won't be able to manipulate you anymore. You know, with that, with that weird, like, manipulative um, bullshit. This hand of cards to me is this representation of this manipulative person trying to, you know, gaslight you. In a, it's gaslighting. It's basically gaslighting. It's making you think that you're, that something is your idea when it's not your idea. It's this person trying to manipulate your mind. And I feel like you're, you're just... You're letting go of this. What's a ton of swords? Yes, your happiness would be... So, look at this. You being happy in your life, expanding your life, finding your own way and going off on a new adventure, that is painful to someone else. Like, if your success and happiness is painful to someone else... I really think you're around the wrong person. Sorry, but I really feel like this is not support. This is not support, supportive energy at all. What's the devil reverse? The butterfly. That's you, Gemini. 
evolving to the next phase of your life and growing your wings just like in your last reading with the dragonfly i really feel like you're growing your wings and you're you're disconnecting your guides want you to just disconnect you know from from these people trying to or this person trying to hold you back because this doesn't have anything to do with oh i want you to be happy are you sure are you sure that that step is going to make you happy gemini if you really do that, do you really think that you're going to be happy without me? You think that's going to make you happy? You need to stay with me, binded to me forever. This person is very needy. This person is very constricting, I feel, whoever you're dealing with. And um, it's painful for them that you want, that you that you're a free spirit. That you could take a risk in your life. Yeah, this is not healthy at all. What's this thing for verse? Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you see that fly out like that? I don't know if you did. Healing heart in reverse. Yeah. This person does not want you to heal. They don't want you to free yourself from a toxic relationship. This is a toxic relationship. I hate to put it that way, but it is. You got photograph in reverse, and then you've got cassette in reverse, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying event. This person can't condition you anymore. Make new memories, yeah. Um, this person is very, this is, this is a very selfish energy. I really feel like this is somebody very selfish, very manipulative, um, they tug on your heartstrings. And this is, I feel heavy gaslighting. I really feel somebody that makes you feel like something is your idea when it's not. They like, they like manipulate you into being a people pleaser. Because they make you feel like it's for your own good that you shouldn't do this or shouldn't do that. When in reality, it's like them tugging some strings here. They don't want you to free yourself from them. What's the sign of swords? I do feel a weak kind of a personality here. This person is weak. I feel needy. This person is... I, I don't feel like they're like financially dependent on you. I feel like this is somebody that's like emotionally dependent on you. This person might not know how to be like emotionally balanced if you're not around. Like in the sense that they might not know how to like emotionally take care of themselves. This is, I feel somebody that always needs a shoulder to cry on. They don't know how to take care of their own problems. That's why they don't want you to leave. I feel like you're a crutch for this person in some way, emotionally. And I feel, Gemini, that you're somebody that's very emotionally secure. That's why you have this capacity to want to maybe take a chance in some sort of direction, have some sort of opportunity. You kind of know what you want. It's because you are emotionally secure in some, in some way enough to have that fearless energy within you this person doesn't have that because i feel like an emotional dependence on you in some way this person is not emotionally strong they might be very heavily reliant on you to make them feel like they're okay like i said with that example of you going out with your friends it's like this person might not have that many friends so they expect you also to not have friends so that that you they so that they're not left alone basically they don't know how to be alone. Yeah, I just got a confirmation nudge on my arm. This person doesn't know how to be alone. That's why they don't want you to go out in the world because they don't know. There's, yeah, there's, mm. but that's not your problem. Honestly, it's not your problem. It's not your responsibility to um, be this person's emotional crutch. Or always make them feel better. Always make them, you know, always be the one pushing them up, building them up, supporting them in their dreams, trying to make them feel better. When they don't give you the same back at all, if anything, they're keeping you small. 
they're holding you back. They're not supporting you that in the same way. I really feel that. Breakup, this says breakup, separation, stop the patterns, abandonment, abandonment, abandonment. This person doesn't want to be a, feel abandoned by you. They don't, they feel threatened by that. They feel threatened. This person has an abandonment wound. They're emotionally manipulating you because they don't want to be left alone. It's not your responsibility though, Gemini. I'm... This doesn't have anything to do with them being alone, it, like physically alone. It has something to do with their emotional security. That's, that's something that's within them. There's, there's a reason why they have that wound. What's the Eight of Cups reverse? I don't know this person enough, though, to tell you about this. Yeah, Twin Flames. Ah, this person is not emotionally balanced. Balance. Coupling. Complement each other. This person is... Um, they might be your Twin Flame. I don't know. This person might be somebody you're in a relationship with. But... Nevertheless, this person is not healed. This person has, I really feel like, ab abandonment wounds, abandonment issues, and they're very emotionally manipulative towards you and very selfish because they don't, because they don't want to heal themselves. They want you to heal them. They want you to heal them. They think that having you around is going to heal them. They want you to save them. But that's not your job. Yeah. What's the Eight of Cups? Seduction. Yeah, this person might be... Um, This is giving me gaslighting and emotional manipulation. It's like first they try to tell you that it's not a good idea. Then they try to gaslight you into staying with them. They don't want to feel abandoned. And then they'll try to seduce you so that you don't stay. It's like, you know, they're going to try and give you reasons as to why you shouldn't leave. And they might be making themselves also one of those reasons. This is the kind of person that would do anything to make sure that you don't leave them. First, they'll go to the gaslighting, then they'll go to the emotional manipulation, then they'll go to telling you all the reasons why you shouldn't go, why it's best for you. If that doesn't work, they'll try to, you know, put on some lingerie or, I don't know, put on a show for you, and then they'll try to get you to stay with them. Okay, also lovers. Ah, karmic relationship. Let go and love you. <laughs> Triggers, turmoil, resentment, and lessons. The lovers. Yeah. Yo, did you hear that? Gemini. This isn't. This is a karmic relationship. That was my. That was a, my furniture. Like I swear, my. I know spirits are here with me because my furniture will make noises when I say specific things. The same way with my candles. That was so loud. I'm going to have to play that back. It sounded like a big thunk. Yeah, this person is a karmic... This is a karmic person in your life. Unfortunately, Gemini, um, this person is holding you back. What's the emperor? Wedding rings. Mirror in reverse. Wedding married. I don't know if you're married to this person. I don't know if there's a promise of marriage with this person. If they want you to get married to them. 
but you don't mirror each other. It's just, I really feel in the sense that you're very supportive towards this person. You are very emotionally caring. Yeah, I feel like you don't really mirror each other in the way that like, um, you know, they support you the same way. Give you the same back. Relationships reflect our wounds. You guys don't have the same wounds. Because you don't have a, this abandonment issue the same way that this person does. You don't have that same way of being. You don't have that same self-esteem. There's something here that it just doesn't, it just doesn't fit anymore. And I almost feel like you've maybe out, outgrown this person, whoever this is, or you've healed you're you're farther on your healing journey than than this person is. What's the kind of wands? Clock in reverse. Yeah. Needs time, takes time, in time cycles, time to heal. Yeah, you're not on the same timeline anymore. That's what I'm getting. It's like like somebody wants you to spend more time with them somebody wants more of your time somebody feels like there's not enough time but you feel like it's been enough time in one spot like you want something new and this person doesn't it's like i i just feel this energy of you yeah you're far you're just farther on your healing journey than this person is it's like that's where this conflict comes in They want, they want time to stop moving forward. They want you to stop progressing. Yeah. All right, Gemini. Um, what I feel like is your advice here tonight from your angels is definitely to, to reflect on the situation. If this is, if this reading is resonating with you, reflect on the way that this person speaks to you okay and if you feel like this is some sort of emotional manipulation going on to just maybe go within and and really you know discern if the way that you feel towards your opportunities if that's really how you feel if that's what you want or if that is somebody else trying to change the way that you view things because i feel like your your guides are saying that you need to cut things loose here and kind of let go of the burden if you want to evolve to the next phase in your life. And you might be you might be connected to somebody here that doesn't necessarily want you to change. They don't want you to grow. They don't want you to be successful. They don't want you to leave them. And that might not be the healthiest thing for you. Okay, because you can't make somebody heal. You can't make somebody change and you can't save them. You staying with them is not going to heal their abandonment wound. You can't be somebody's band-aid. Okay, you also have to live your own life and follow your own dreams. And it's not your responsibi responsibility to be somebody else's band-aid. It's their responsibility to heal that part of themselves. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, just maybe ask yourself if you still, you know, have the same values as somebody, if you really reflect the same maybe ask yourself if you have outgrown a situation here, you know, but you, you really need to follow your own light and your own path and your own shine and, and don't dim yourself for other people because they want to keep you small because it's more comfortable for them, okay? Um, yeah, you're a butterfly, okay? Don't forget that. Don't, don't chop your wings off because they're, you know, all caterpillars and they don't want to grow their own wings, you know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, Gemini, that's um, what I have for you tonight. 
and um, thanks for watching. Bye.